Hi everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video. Today's video is about how we can use Microsoft OneNote's template feature together with linked meeting notes to make your job easier in terms of tracking what has happened in previous meetings and what people's assignments happen to be. So the first layer is that uh, if you're in Microsoft OneNote, as you can see here, I've created a OneNote notebook about board meetings. I have a section labeled upcoming meetings and then sections for each of the year archives. And so anytime that I have a new meeting and uh, then that meeting has gone into the past, I can push that over to the archive to be saved. But I find that if I actually do want to take notes on my meetings in these pages, I'm doing it all 100% organically, and there's not really a sense of structure that uh, the notes will always be the same, the notes will always have the same sections in them, etc. So how can we make that easier on ourselves? If you go to the Insert tab at the top of the screen, you'll notice that over here towards the right-hand side is this concept called a page template. And that if you click on the page templates button, you'll notice that there are certain sections of page templates that are available to us in OneNote that have come from Microsoft, like uh, meeting note templates or decorative templates for our individual pages, as opposed to, of course, this blank page, which is what we're working with right now. But you'll also see at the bottom of the panel over here on the right, you can just take whatever the page is that's up on your screen and save this as a template so it can be reused. And not only that, but in this section, I can decide to use a default template for every new page that we create. So let's go ahead and set up a template for board meetings. So this will be a board meeting colon whatever the date of the meeting is. Then maybe over here we'll have sections for uh, the attendance of that meeting. And maybe underneath attendance, I'll have a little bulleted list of the potential people who uh, could attend or not attend. And then maybe I'll just copy this and put another over here, which will be for uh, not attendance, but uh, minutes, for example. And then over here, a little ways further, I'll do action items. And maybe action items will not get bullet points instead it will get uh, this little to-do tag option here. Okay, so for every board meeting, uh, we take attendance, we have the meeting minutes, and we have the action items that people need to do after the fact. So I've now built out this beautiful little template. Of course, you, would, uh, you could very easily add a ton more content here, formatting, charts and diagrams, and whatever you feel like doing, uh, but I'm going to go really simple and clean here. Then simply click on Save Current Page as Template down here at the bottom and call this something like um, Standard Meeting Minutes. Now you'll notice at this point I can already choose that this is the default template every time a new page gets generated in this section. That makes a ton of sense to me. So I'll go ahead and do that. Set this as the default template and click Save. And now that this template has been created, I can theoretically get rid of the page that the template is based off of. I'll just right click here on board meeting and delete that. And you can see here the section is completely empty. I'll just go ahead and remove my templates. And now let's go schedule a new board meeting. Makes a ton of sense, right? So I'll go over here to my calendar. And let's say that we have a board meeting on February 7th. So I'll go to February 7th on my calendar, just open up a new meeting, invite some attendees to it. Uh, maybe the meeting goes from 10 until 12, and this will be sent to Jacqueline and Alejandro and June, and it's a February board meeting. Specify a location, Michigan conference room, okay. And at this point, I realize I don't want to take notes down here in the main section of this uh, meeting. Instead, I want to go up to my meeting notes up here at the top of the screen. 
I want to share the notes, share the meeting minutes with the other attendees to the board meeting. So I'll click on share notes with the meeting and then specify that this goes into the uh, board meetings uh, into the board meetings notebook and specifically into upcoming meetings. Notice that because I deleted that one page out of upcoming meetings, there's no little plus sign here. I can't put this onto an existing page because it doesn't exist. And then I click OK. The link that sends people to be able to open up that notebook is right there, both live and on the web. I'll hit send. That'll go out to everybody who's invited to the meeting. Now let's go look at OneNote right here. You can see that it went ahead and it dropped in this uh, meeting note area over here in the attendance group. You just want to make sure that you put that over there. But you see that? It's already using the template because every new page automatically uses that template. And Jacqueline, Alejandro, and June have all been invited. They've all been given access to this page of the notebook. All I have to do is change the board meeting's date to 2718, and then I can complete the rest of this document. Uh, the people who receive this meeting can open up that meeting request, can click on the link that sends them to the website, and as you can see right here, it pops open your OneNote online and allows, okay, <laughs> and allows them to see the meeting minutes as they stand currently. Beautiful, right? So whether this is the Neil account, whether this is the Jacqueline account or the Alejandro account, they can get to the meeting minutes, they can fill in some things on their own, they can check in on their action items live online right there through the link that they get in their meeting notes. <laughs>